What's up you guys, it's VDX. So, as you can tell, I'm not home right now, but this morning my notifications were completely blowing up. I checked Twitter, and of course they announced a new character. Now, everyone is asking me, is Victor the new Noctis? Like, you're definitely gonna play this guy, right? I knew you were gonna play this guy. And I'm gonna get into the trailer in a second, but I thought it would be important to talk about what Noctis is in Tekken 7, at least to me. The character kind of came out with this reputation of being really cheap. He could throw his sword full screen. He could hit you with safe mids from full screen. You know, it was kind of a controversial character uh, with his swords and weapons and everything. Go back to Soul Calibur. But as the meta evolved, Noctis really came into his own as a training wheels Tekken character, right? Against people with really solid defense. His mix-ups weren't too scary, right? Demo Man is real, but you have to be at close range. So unless the Noctis was comfortable brawling at close range, like a Tekken player, you wouldn't have a solid low threat. His other lows, down two and down back three, didn't generate any advantage on hit. So you never got mix-up situations like Brian gets, or Huarong gets, or Jin gets, if they land their huge power low with frame advantage where they can continue an offense. His other low, the down back two spear, was reactable by people who trained at the game. So put that all together and Noctis becomes not a cheese character, but a fundamentals-focused poking character that has a specialty in range. So at a high level, Noctis revolved around using his pokes and his movement to find up forward 1 counter hits, forward forward 1 plus 2 counter hits, and down forward 2 whiff punishes. He didn't play a strong mix-up game, but he did have the 35 damage safe mid in back 2. All of that is to say that my favorite part of playing Noctis was hitting the big whiff punishes and hitting the fat counter hits. So is Victor the same as Noctis? I want to see those attributes before I make a decision. Does he move really well, which the trailer probably won't show us? Does he have that quick counter hit, and does he have a giant whiff punish? That's enough chatter, let's check out the trailer. Now apparently, I saw on Twitter that this boat is a reference to Harada's first trip to France, where he was on a cruise on the river Seine. Bro, this guy looks too cool, man. <laughs> He looks straight out of Metal Gear. He looks like Big Boss. He has Raiden's sword, but he wears it on his hip like a Jetstream Sam did. Of course, he's got a gun. And that's the exact pose or stance that Big Boss takes on in Metal Gear. A little gun attack throw. Oh, he has the big evasive uh, like jumping move. Raven has that. Kunimitsu, Yoshi has that. Oh, there's two knives. A little stance cancel, two throw. Gun into a forward dash stance, another forward dash stance. For now. All standing punish, dagger moves, forward teleport, forward teleport. On blender, heat engager, okay. That looked almost like an up forward one. <laughs> that is a great character intro. Oh, Raven parried in there. Okay, we'll talk about that in a second. Yo, that was a launcher. That was a that was a low. Must be counter hit launcher. Oh is that a parry? Did you parry the low in stance? Okay, that was a normal parry. Into a heat engager. Okay. Dash combo. There you go. Shoots him. It looks like every time he shoots him, he gets like a teleport. Yes. Okay, Rage Art. Oh my god. Yeah, that is straight like Jet Stream Sam. Transforming high frequency sheet. Yeah. That is fire, man. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This guy is ridiculous. This is straight, this is straight Metal Gear Solid. You know, talking in the codec in his ear, given the Ravens have been doing that for a minute. Mars does that with his cell phone. Okay, look. High frequency blade, like techno blade on the hip. This is straight Jetstream Sam, Metal Gear Rising. And uh, in general, he's got what? A pistol, two daggers, and a sword? He's got like a weapons master archetype going on. Outside of what Noctis is doing, that's probably my favorite like archetype of character. Martial arts and multiple weapons. Okay, let's look at the first move. So he does a big overhead dagger slice. You can see that Jack is orange, so he's taking chip damage. There's the purple effect on Victor's hand here. So that's a heat engager, right? And Jack tries to retaliate and then eats a low. 
right? And then it transitions to him getting shot. So this looks like a counter hit attack throw type situation. I doubt it gives him the same effect on normal hit. That would be insane. Okay, big overhead slice. Now notice again, when the slice hits, his hand is purple. So this is a heat engager as well. Uh, he's putting his sword away, but Brian is staggered. Brian retaliates and it looks like he's still recovering. So I doubt this is plus on block. That would be a really, really ridiculous move. But you know what could happen? Noctis vibes. Brian goes for this and notice this isn't a parry. And the, because Brian's hitbox hasn't come out yet and he's already disappearing. So this is an evasive move. I think like Yoshimitsu up three plus four. And it looks like he's still popping off, putting his sword away while this is happening. So you don't probably don't get a follow up or at least not a full combo. You probably get like a little knockdown follow up or at least a wake up situation. Law does the nunchuck, punish with like a jab string. Okay, this is interesting. So he does what? He does a one, one, two, two. I hope you have to hit the button for each two. I think it would be really lame if you hit two once and he slashes twice. I think for character feedback, it's really cool if you hit the button for each strike. So one, one, two, two. An evasive low punch that looks almost like a Asuka down back one. Second hit of the string transitions to an attack throw. I kind of get tired of like too many attack throws, especially Tekken 8 is showing a lot of them. But if they're quick animations, then I think it's okay. Like this doesn't seem to take too long to finish up. Pausing the gameplay for a little animation is kind of annoying. Okay, next Claudio does forward 1 plus 2, 1 plus 2. And this is the first like Noctis move we really see. This looks straight out of Tekken 7. Noctis down back 1. What the hell is his elbow doing there? Oh my god! Okay, when you do animation for video games or movies, you have to take shortcuts and you have to do tricks to make moves look clean. So this is fine. It just, out of context, this looks absolutely ridiculous, bro. <laughs> All right, so down back one. And Noctis would swipe up with two hands. Down back one, one plus two. But Victor here does one hand. It looks like he's about to do an attack or enter a stance. And then he fakes into a low. So this could be two things. This could be a stance entrance, right? Or it could be like Bruce, Steve, Josie, Fakunram, where when you slide two buttons, people call it slide, but you, you tap another button during a string to cancel that move. It looks like a tilde in, in a Tekken notation. And uh, they cancel the move. So here, that could be this. You could be canceling into what would be an extension, or you would be doing what would be an extension and cancel that into this low. Noctis isn't a stance character, so I would personally prefer if he's not a stance character, but I think based on the teleporting, that's already out the window. And then we see the two throw. Look at this, bro. He uses every weapon. Karambit, dagger or knife, sword, and then he teleports. And then he changes sides. He changes positions. That's really important. Um, if he changes positions on break as well, that's a really strong competitive advantage. Lars does 442, knee into gun. Okay. And then after gun, he teleports. And uh, you can see his stance is different, right? He's like holding it like a EI Jutsu, quick draw. Uh, type of stance for Samurai. Then he goes straight into Power Crush, eats these one, two jabs, and then does a two hit string, knee into sword, and then teleports forward again. This looks almost like Master Raven's white hole stance where she teleports forward, but doesn't actually commit to an attack or, and, and she arrives in her neutral stance. So it looks like Victor has two versions of the teleport stance, right? He has the one that comes after gun, where he comes out in EI Jutsu, comes into quick draw, and then after the sword move here, he teleports and arrives in his... It, it's like, it looks like a modified normal stance, but I think he could probably do his like normal moves out of it. Okay, he blocks the low... Wait, wait, wait. This is huge too. This is, this is unrelated. This is a fang thing. But this move used to stagger when you block the low. Now you have to duck the low and the high. Little buff for fang, you know? Like a, it's not a huge buff if you're defending properly, but small things add up in tournament. Okay, big while standing launch. Crumple stun. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Again, I'm hoping that this 2-2-2, two, 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 you press each button. I don't want to hit like two twice and he does multiple hits. I want 2-2-2 two, two, two each time. Shoots him and look at Fang. Fang is spinning with that unique Tekken 8 combo extension right there. That doesn't eat up your tornado for the combo. Usually you get one tornado per combo. You could do this multiple times in a combo. That's all the, all the combo video people do this spin multiple times because it's really easy to get a follow-up after. Then he teleports forward into this stance again, this EI Jutsu stance. Let's look at that again, right? He hits the gun, teleports into EI Jutsu. So when you shoot the gun, I don't know if you're forced into the stance or if you get to choose, but out of this stance, huge tornado, right? Then he dashes forward again into his normal standing stance. Looks like some kind of K 
kick, and then look, he takes the sword off his hip. So he shoots him. Tornado. Standing. Three something. Sword is off the hip. Combo ender. That is really, really cool. This move. This is the first big, like, oh, I might play this guy, like, if he's like Noctis. Right? Big, quick high punch into a heat engage. Now, it's not exactly Noctis is up forward one. Uh, for a couple reasons, Leroy's move here is minus 15 in the in the beta test. So, unless they change it, this is a 15 frame move. So it's not 13 like Noctis is. It has a bit of a power crush state in the beginning. So that's already way different. And because it heat engages, it won't be a launcher unless you spend your heat dash. And even if you spend your heat dash, some of them don't launch. So, close, but not exactly the same. Why is he running up if he can tell- anyways, that's not important. Now this is weird. Okay, look at this. This is something different. I, I'm not sure what this is, right? He's running for heat engaging, but during the heat engager, his sword glows right here. See that? It's like he gets a buff. So kind of like Claudio's blue hand or Asuka's Naniwa or um, Brian's snake eyes, I think it's what it's called. He gets a buff that looks like heat automatically grants him. And here he gets like a blue punch. That's unique. And you can see his stance is different. Now he's cradling his sword. So not only does he have multiple stances, he has an empowered state. Out of this empowered state, he gets this knee, teleport, bubble shield, ground pound into tornado. And this must be his heat smash. Either this is an attack throw like uh, other characters have, but it looks like a heat smash. That thing is really dramatic. Now this kick is interesting because Raven parries it, but Victor is still able to block after. You see that? So normally you eat the, if you do like a slow recovery attack and Raven parries it here, he gets to kick you for free, but this must recover really quickly. This is nuts. Raven does a standing four. Victor goes under it, right? So this is like probably like a down back four or something. And that doesn't look like, that looks like a special counter hit animation, right? But then he shoots him and that turns it into a launcher. So is that a string follow up? Is it optional? Or is this just what happens if you counter hit, right? Like, is it guaranteed? Like if you counter hit, does he just shoot him? Or can you choose to shoot every time you just might die for it? Because if it's a two hit counter hit launching low, that's kind of nasty. Like what does it do on normal hit? Can you shoot on normal hit? That's another question. Okay, bubble shield, tornado again, two. Okay, so he didn't do two two this time. He did two one, right? Dagger, then punch, then a little crouch dash. So now he's in a stance. This might be the same stance we saw before where he did Noctis's down back one, one plus two. Dagger down, dagger up cancel into stance. This might be the same stance. So, so far, it could be he has teleport into Iaijutsu, teleport into standing, and crouch dash into this other stance. <laughs> okay, the gun gets parried, so Raven can parry the gun, and he dashes into Iaijutsu stance, right? Now, look at this really closely. It looked like a parry in the trailer, but if you look at Raven here, the hitbox hasn't come out yet. And already, Victor is crouch dashing forward. So it's possible that this parry is for the entire stance or it's not a parry at all and he just chose to do an attack that looks like it has a crouch dash. Either way, this move is really cool because it reminds me a lot of Noctis. In Final Fantasy, they didn't put this in Tekken and I wish they did. He had a move where he could kind of parry an opponent's attack by teleporting out of the way. This is the closest thing we've ever seen to that and it's even blue. All right, forward stance or forward dash stance into heat burst and then a little wall ender. Doesn't look like anything special there. And then he has this parry. This is a standing parry. Again, we don't know if it blocks weapons like Noctis, but look at how much block stun Raven is in. A guaranteed heat engager after could mean that Victor gets a launcher after. Now, I doubt it a bit because someone like Jin even, it depends on the move he parries whether he gets a launch or not. And when he lands a magic four and goes into one plus two, you can't heat dash to turn that into a combo. So I'm pretty sure they would not give Victor a parry into a launcher, but they gave it to Geese, so who knows. Anyways, uh, it's possible. And then you can see that his sword gets buffed again. So it looks like when he heat engages, that blue glow on his sword is a buff. And here in the trailer, I believe it makes that heat spending meter sound. Like that ka-ching comes across right here. Yep, and then he draws the sword. And then he's in this sword cradle stance. I don't have a good name for it. I'm sure there's a better name for it. But it looks like this may be a heat specific stance because the last time he did it was also after a heat engager. Maybe when he has the blue buff, he can use that stance. 
And then he gets this Soul Calibur move. I don't know who did it in Soul Calibur, but I've definitely seen that before. Now look at here, he's glowing blue. His sword is glowing blue again. He uses the Heat Dash, and the blue glow is gone. So is the blue sword only in heat? Because it's separate from this purple glow around him, the heat glow. Then again, it went away when he used the heat dash. So I'm not sure if it's a separate charge up mechanic or if it's a when in heat mechanic. Okay, here we go again. He shoots with the gun. Let's back it up. Little string into the bubble shield tornado. Okay, look at this, look at this. He does, right before he shoots the gun, he does like a mini double fuzzy duck. You see that? I'll play it one more time. So maybe the gun is like a motion input, like quarter circle, and you could do it raw, like out of standing, but you have to do like a QCFs or something, like Kunimitsu. After the gun, he's in this Iajutsu stance, the quick draw, stomp, and then a slash. It looks like a combo ender, and then he dashes forward again into his normal standing stance. And this move is kind of promising too. This looks a bit like a counter hit launching mid. I was talking about Noctis's forward forward one plus two, the interesting part about this move is it looks like it's a bit faster than Raven's forward 1 plus 2, or maybe the same speed. I don't know who attacked first, because I think the clip starts before. He moves first, just by one or two frames. Victor moves first. So it might be slower or the same speed, probably the same speed, but it counter hit launches. I doubt that it's homing like Noctis is, and I doubt it has the same range. But the counter hit launching mid is pretty cool. So if he has the heat burst high, the counter hit launching mid, all he's missing is a big whiff punisher. So if he gets a crazy nice whiff punisher, this could be the Noctis replacement. But again, for me, it's not just the character and the aesthetic, it's that play style as well. Obviously, I gotta let the, the Rage Art run one more time. But Victor is really, really cool, man. I think whether or not he's a Noctis replacement is gonna come down to the, the how he plays. Like, obviously, VDX, what are you saying? The aesthetic is so clearly, like, Japanese, like tech warrior, weapons master, I'm thinking Metal Gear, Final Fantasy, it ticks all those boxes, like no question. The curious part is, will they feel the need to fill the shoes of Noctis? Because currently as he stands, it looks a bit more like Kunimitsu Raven. The dagger moves are really short, we don't know how they track, but they're quick strings, right? Noctis was known for big sword swipes, and Victor doesn't really go to his sword except for in the middle of combos or if he's in a stance. The exceptions, of course, being the two big heat engagers we saw, uh, the one he did versus Brian. This big heat engager he does on Brian. Those are the only times he seems to pull out the sword quickly, and then he puts it right back after. But Noctis was using the swords pretty regularly in his neutral game. So is Victor going to be sword heavy? Maybe he's only sword heavy in heat. Um, does he have a sword with Punisher? I think that would make a lot of sense. However, given that he's already wielding, like, a knife in one hand and keeps a gun ready and a karambit in the other, I doubt he will be pulling the sword out quickly in neutral. So that's probably my only concern, but again, stylistically the character is huge, and I will always say this, if you're learning Tekken and you're learning a new character, having a character that you really resonate with or you really vibe with is so important because you're going to spend a lot of the game learning so many situations. You have 70 plus commands, you've got to be good enough to flow state in all of them. I didn't make that up. Heard that from speed kicks but you got to be prepared to use all of those options you have to be prepared to pull out the tool that works for a specific situation maybe you need to surprise somebody maybe you need to clutch out a win from a move nobody's seen before all of that is to say that it's so important to vibe with your character and victor takes those boxes not just for me but many people ulsan in korea cbm from korea a lot of players i'm seeing really like this character so it's ultimately going to come down to the gameplay and i think unfortunately we just haven't seen enough the animations are there the style is there the attention to detail is there and that's all really cool does he move around a lot does he use his movement or is he a string heavy mix up stance character? Does he have counter hits and whiff punishes? Does he have does he have a strong poking game outside of just his weapon moves that are really big? These are all questions that will really determine I think whether I play him as a Noctis replacement or if other people play him as a Noctis replacement. But at least for the audiences that enjoy that Japanese techno samurai ninja aesthetic, Victor is a huge win. And regardless of whether I play him or not, I'm a fan of the character, and I'm looking forward to seeing what people do with him. Sorry I couldn't give you a more definitive answer, but we just have to see. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if I missed anything in the comments, and drop a like if you thought it was cool. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.